Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shady. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist. Today we're jumping back into the Full Metal Alchemist Season 1, Episode 53, Flames of Vengeance. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Is the city under attack? I don't know. I heard the Flame Alchemist turned enemy of the state. Oh, oh sure yeah, I heard this. Well, that's the rumor. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. Here? Quick, turn it on to Radio Capital. There's never anything good on that station. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's related to you. Oh, Come on. God. Do I understand you correctly, Mrs. Bradley? Hey, Mrs. Bradley? Wow. Our own military. They attempted to have me killed. Speak the truth. They actually pointed their guns at you? They did. They specifically said to shoot me and Colonel Mustang's men. It was awful. So then, it would seem that an official took advantage of his absence in order to stage a coup. That I do not know. I imagine you must be relieved that your son is traveling with his father. I haven't been able to contact my son. You haven't? <sighs> You're kidding. <laughs> Poor woman. They're fools if they think they can run this country without Bradley. What havoc. If Colonel Mustang hadn't saved me, I'm certain they would have killed me. Wow. Do you think you could describe the exact details of your rescue for us? Okay. Oh, they're at the she station with her. She seems a homunculus. There's something we haven't told Mrs. Bradley yet, but she needs to hear it. The Fuhrer was returning to Central, but his train was blown up. That's the dangerous part. He could be anywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Bradley. Mrs. Bradley fainted. She's understandably a little overwhelmed by the news we all just received. And about that, what exactly did you mean when you said that you have yet to find the Fuhrer? Well, you should know this first. The Colonel suspected the senior staff of foul play. So with the Fuhrer's train having been bombed and the orders given to assassinate Mrs. Bradley, his suspicions were confirmed. We know for a fact someone's attempting to overthrow the government. I want that broadcast shut down! <laughs> they think of the whole studio hostage. We're sitting here with guns pointed at our heads. We're worried that we're still alive. <laughs> the reason they haven't shot any of us is because we're following their orders. Mustang? He's, um... Indisposed. Uh... What was that? Pray? No. <laughs> Don't shoot! No! Don't shoot me this guy's a great actor. Oh, wow. <laughs> you should win an award. You definitely Back should. There's no way I'm going to abandon the story of the century. Right? To continue with story our story, of the we now have an exclusive message. Those of us giving our support to Colonel Mustang, we <sighs> may be few in number. That but that voice. Stop us from it's the first the time he knows. We'll do everything we can to stop it's these traitors in the name of justice. Ah, Taking ahead. advantage of the Fuhrer's absence and using his influence any way you like to suit your needs. Any way and you like. And the name of justice at that. You sounded like a pro. You did. And that last bit about Brenda. justice? Nice touch. Well, of course. Everyone's willing to fight for justice. Mustangs men say that they're trying to prevent an uprising. Are you sure he's not behind it? Roy Mustang is telling the truth. Wish about it. We witnessed the wreckage of the Fuhrer's train with our own eyes. It is true. Our Fuhrer could be dead for all we know. Why would they keep all of us in the dark about such a thing? The military must be staging a coup d'etat. <laughs> nice. Came nice. Place, so. <laughs> what is the garrison doing down there? Well, sir, the enemy seems to possess more firepower than we expected. Fire. They're putting up a strong offense. You should hear this. You're late checking in. I want a detailed rundown. Now go ahead. Uh, hey, what's happening? Get sir, fuck with the is everything okay? I mean, we aren't okay. going to lose the main gate to them, are we, sir? Of course not. They it's need a happening. tank to breach the main gate. Hey, they got one. There it is. Huh? What? Maybe I could lend you. Oh, a here we go. Let's go. Oh, you just burn. managed to make new friends everywhere you go. Can't help it. Is that Scar? The last time we were here, Lieutenant. As I recall, you were crying over me. Wow. The last thing I'm gonna do is start crying for you now. Water <laughs> makes him useless. Oh! oh. 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 Just start shooting at these white guys. <laughs> <laughs> when do you ever hear?
hear that before. <laughs> she starts shooting at these white guys. They aren't healing themselves. But they're not dying either. Uh, right. They've got to be powered by philosopher stones. Here you go. Why don't you stand in there? Put your gloves. Dang. Here you go. Whoa. Wow. Oh, they did. Wow. Mustang's the key. Do they leave stones behind? They were the enemy. It Nobody had to does. be done. Now go run in and go get that bearded bastard. <laughs> oh. Stop scampering around, damn it. That's hilarious. He obviously doesn't want me to go this way. She's so sick. Oh, she didn't even need to draw it! You heard that. Oh my god. Envy? Not you guys. You damn fool. Why didn't you go back to Shane? Hey. What I forget it. Don't cry. Water makes Mustang useless. Right? <laughs> You're making my stomach turn. Bruh, all the things you consume today, that's what's making your stomach turn. So, we've got the Full Metal Alchemist and the Flame Alchemist. And there's even Scar. I and I've got a serious grudge with you filthy Chimera. You're the homunculus who can change his appearance at will. Wow! You've heard of me! I'm flattered. You're teaming up with him, Scar? You do know that he helped reduce Ishval to a hell on Earth. And you started the war. And you started it, bro. What? Look at the two of you. You obviously want to kill each other, so do it. You know humans love to watch other people suffer while making fools of themselves. Wow. I mean, why else would you constantly be at war with each other? Wow. I've humored you long enough. So how about you answer a question of mine? Here we go. I want you to tell me who killed Maze Hughes. Oh! Homunculus. Oh. Oh. Not one of the Maria Ross did. Isn't that why you burned her to death? Shut up. Tell me the truth or I'll burn it out of you. You yeah. worthless scum. Tell me who's responsible for his murder. Thus was responsible for the stabbing. <laughs> Andy was responsible for finishing him off. Congratulations, Colonel Mustang. You finally hunted down your culprit. <laughs> I doubt a moron like you could pull that off. <laughs> he's, he's moron! <laughs> Tell me who the real moron is here. I prefer to use that term for someone who falls for a cheap trick like this. It's the wife, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was the same look on you's face when I shot him! You could see every emotion he felt as his own wife shot him. Oh, you turned into his wife. So Bro, then, about to get cream I think him. I'll begin. What burning out your tongue? All metal alchemist. I'm gonna give you a lashing. <laughs> what was the pose? <laughs> like Spider Man? It's true. No, his is with the two fingers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stand down, all of you. Well. You heard him. Let's keep moving and find this father guy. I still owe you some pain and misery for what you did. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how quickly the tongue can be rendered to a bubbling grease. It's surprising how easy it burns. We oh, can she wants this paper. One. They want all the smoke. What? He's right in. Now let's go. And all these innocent people. You saw that back there. This won't even be a challenge for him. That's not exactly what I'm worried about. So, you've been rather dogged in your pursuit of no this killer. You're a true friend to the very end. He's, he's so mad right now. Don't show us Maze's face. You better give it all you Oh, your eyeballs! Bro, he is so What's it like right having the fluid inside of your eyes boil? Oh! Sting a little. I can't believe you give me a bigger target. Go on and regenerate yourself. 
You'll suffer a thousand deaths before He's letting you wow. He's the one who incinerated lust. You gotta run. Shit. You gotta run. Yeah. A coward. You, knew you coward. Don't leave Hawkeye by herself. Nah, bro. Weird. Even one of them homunculi like, come out, she might be fucked. The further we get, the more it feels like I've got a bad case of heartburn. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I've got it too. There's a strong mass of rancid chi ahead. Rancid. Rancid. You know how you can feel a crowd's fear before a disaster? It's like that, but it's far worse. I don't really understand, but it sure is scaring the hell out of me. Babe, you remember that documentary we watched? This is the last place I'd want to run. That is insane. I need to talk to you. It's about the flame alchemist, isn't it? I understand the burning desire for revenge all too well. You might go crazy. The way he's headed, he will destroy himself in the flames of hatred. Ooh, look at Envy. I'm gonna ignite your bone marrow. Watch out, that's Hawkeye! Oh shit! Roy, what's up? This bastard! <laughs> Mace Hughes is dead. Look at his eyes. If you invoke his image, you must be a glutton for punishment. Glutton for punishment. I like how we did that. Were you trying to get close so I wouldn't use heavy fire? No one told you that I can do pinpoint aiming? Oh! For you. Because I can't! Colonel, I'm sorry, but I can't wait. No! In the closet. No! 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 I don't like where this is going. I'm gonna come out with Hawkeye. <gasps> That's Envy! I told you to stay behind, Lieutenant. Couldn't just sit there, sir. Where's Envy? He outran me. This place is like a labyrinth. Don't. Don't. That's not him. She knows. Wow. She fucking knows. Mustang would have never told her to stick by my side. Like, he's like, he's gonna try to save her if anything. Get out of here. I told you to stay out there, you know? Okay, so you don't think Hawkeye's the fake, you think Mustang's the fake. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's genius. Yeah. I would have never... Yeah. I would have never Cause, caught that. Because Envy heard him say, you stay out here, I'm going to take care of him. As Envy ran into the tunnel. So he's like, okay, I'm going to pretend I'm him. And I'm like, yo, I thought I told you you stay out here, you know? That whole that whole landscape shit with all those people is like, who, 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 like, who are all these people? Or maybe the people they save, or maybe just. I really hope uh, Hawkeye can figure it out. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't doubt Hawkeye's gonna figure it out. I, the thing is, I, me, me, I did. I thought a fucking Hawkeye was the when I when I was I wasn't sure at first if Hawkeye was the fake or if it was. Yeah, like, me too. I was. I was confused. Me too. Because I remember at the for the preview for at the end of last episode when they previewed it, Mustang turned around and it looked like it was Hawkeye there with the gun. When the the Mace you scene there, yeah, it was Hawkeye. They did in the, uh, but like I guess after they cut from one scene to another. But like they're like, oh, he's gonna burn up. He's so mad. He's gonna burn up Hawkeye. And that's what I thought when I seen Hawkeye coming down the hallway. I'm like, is she gonna get caught in a thing? But that pinpoint shit is crazy though. Like well, I didn't, I didn't know that. I'm gonna before. make the water in your eyeballs boil. That's very specific, Matt. The years that pass okay. between the moment of birth and the moment okay, that's of death a throwback. are the true materials that construct a human being. But the person is only complete in their final moment. Next time on Full Metal Alchemist, Beyond the Inferno. Look closely at yourself. Examine what's in your heart. Ooh, man. The Full Metal Alchemist, man. It's just getting so great. She probably smells his pheromones. And the thing is, what's crazy about that, what's crazy about that whole situation is that, like, what's crazy about that whole situation is that, shit, what's crazy about the whole situation? <laughs> I just had a thought, I just, I just lost it completely. Hawkeye, Mustang, what's crazy about that situation? Oh, like, okay, so, like, 
episodes ago, I mean, episodes ago, we've been watching this show for like a couple of months, but like the homunculi, like a homunculi shows up, a homunculi is a part of the conversation. It's like, oh my God, we can't defeat him, run, thing, thing. We get to episode 53. This guy's like, everybody get out of here. I want this homunculi one-on-one. Like that's the, that's the, and the thing is, although a Colonel Mustang is very formidable as the flame alchemist, like they were people who are aware of the alchemy that you know engineered these beings to be above and beyond the restraints or the constrictions of alchemy. So the fact that you're going into the belly of that beast and you're like, no, 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 not only do I, because me, me, when Andy walked in, I'm like, bro, you fucked up Scar, Gerzo, Zampano, right. uh, Hawkeye, you know what I'm saying? Like you would literally have everybody there and nevertheless the full metal alchemist. So I'm like, yo, she's fucked. You know what I'm saying? Come to find out now that she he wants them to clear out just so he can pinpoint the accuracy. And the thing is, what was great about him explaining the pinpoint accuracy was I was wondering, like, when they showed that top angle when he was just hitting all the white guys mm, with the, with the, the flame. Circles, yeah. That was crazy because yeah. fl- you saw Ed, like, his coat didn't catch fire, nothing. But you saw he was surrounded was, by yeah, flames. Yeah, That was crazy that was indeed crazy. but you you see that like the pain of that mental anguish of lo- losing colonel mays hughes like despite how big the situation has gotten the homunculi trying to take over uh a mistress to create philosopher stone to create an immortal army and then you have greed who wants to take over the world with how by how, whatever means he has this guy has all of that on his plate and when it comes down to it, he's like the one thing that is actually the the actual spark that lit the flame inside of me was the murder of Maze Hughes. So when she admitted, when he, she admitted, Envy admitted to being the murderer, that flame inside right. what like, babe, one on one with a homunculi. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen that before. And very successfully. You know what I'm saying? Like we saw Izumi kicked the shit out of greed. We saw um, uh, also Ed figure out that uh, the regeneration process with greed. But like usually the homunculi is is one you try to avoid or one you try to cluster. I mean, they could at the beginning of the show they could barely take on Scar. They could barely take on Scar between Ed and Al. Bitch, like man. But at the beginning of the show they could barely take on Scar by himself, and now they the man's going one on one with homunculi that he's planning to cook up. Oh my god, my god. Another great episode of the Full Metal Alchemist. And we gotta get on to the next one to see if we got any uh, grilled envy on the menu. So, thank y'all for joining us for this latest episode of the Full Metal Alchemist. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in our comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out our full length uncut reaction. Oh, stop by so you can support our channel. I'm and I'm Drake, reviewing the beard. We'll sign up for the next one. Bye.